This year, uh, the message of the European Trade Union Movement, of the European Trade Union Confederation for the celebrations for the 1st of May, is that European workers need and deserve a pay rise. This is also the basis of our campaign, a campaign we launched a few months ago and that will continue also over next year. Uh, the first reason for having a pay rise is a matter of social justice. We have faced incredible drops in wages in the last decade in all the European uh, countries. This has increased inequalities everywhere, in all sectors, in all uh, parts of the European labour market, but at the same time it has also pushed uh, workers uh, into poverty, even if they are at work, and it has increased also wage gaps, uh, not only between women and men, that is the, the most uh, uh, the most uh, relevant concern we have, but also uh, for young generations and also, uh, also inter, uh, intra generations. But the second reason uh, to have a pay rise is an economical reason. Uh, this is the only way in an economy as the European economy that is based by 60, 70, 60, 70 percent uh, on internal demand to boost economic recovery, uh, to boost productivity and competitiveness for companies and for the, the economy as a whole, and also to make social protection systems sustainable by increasing tax and uh, social contribution via wage increases. And last but not least, a pay rise is also needed to boost convergence in the European single market. We have an, an, an absolutely unacceptable situation of wage uh, divergence. If you take any kind of multinational company based in Western Europe, when you take uh, the example of the plans of these companies in the Eastern countries, you will see that uh, to 85-90% performance in terms of productivity in these plants, uh, you have only 25-30% wages in comparison to the same companies and their plants in Western uh, countries of the European Union. This situation of divergence is absolutely unacceptable and this is another additional reason why we need a pay rise and uh, even a, a higher pay rise in the Eastern countries of the European Union. Uh, the tools to achieve all these are first of all minimum wages. We have to increase the level of minimum wages in each and every country at least up to 60% of the median or average wage in each and every country. But at the same time, we have also to strengthen collective bargaining institutions, uh, especially where they have been dismantled, decentralized, or where they simply don't exist because there are no proper uh, legal frameworks uh, to support collective bargaining. Collective bargaining at national sectoral level is the only way to ensure uh, uh, better wages for everybody, but at the same time also wages that are adaptable to productivity developments and to competitiveness to be boosted via wage increases. And finally, we have also to convince multinational enterprises uh, to take their responsibility in boosting convergence and in making the working conditions of their uh, employees uh, more fair for the future. These are the main reasons why we decided to launch, together with all the European trade unions, a big and strong campaign for a, a pay rise. Our pay rise is the title of this campaign. And we need via the campaign on a pay rise to reinforce trade union power, negotiating power in particular for wages, but at the same time also uh, we need to use this campaign to boost organizing the capacity of trade unions to increase their membership in each and every sector and to make sure via this uh, that our representativeness will be also high enough uh, to be really negotiating agents uh, in the labor market, in the society, in the economy, to make sure that workers in Europe can gain uh, their pay rise, our pay rise.